Yo, what is up guys, this is Tartweek TV here, and on today I'm coming at you with the first week in Pika. Well, yeah, um, this week I'm facing off against Poker Trainer Rao, who is the Portland Timbers, I am pretty sure. Yeah, I think he's the Portland Timbers, wait one second, let me check. Sorry, I just, I completely, I always forget, yeah, he's the Portland Timbers, so I was just changing onto the, um, Pika website. So, yeah, so let's jump into this replay then, so... Yeah, this is, yeah. so, I lead off with my Breloom, as he goes out to his Ferrothorn, so I switch straight into my Charizard here, particularly in the Stealth Dogs, knowing I don't want to get damaged by them later on. So, thinking he'd fear the Fire-type move, I predict him to switch out and go straight for the Dragon Dance, but he stays in, as I'm like, oh god, he gets the Leech Seed off there, so this, this isn't looking too good for my Charizard. This next turn, I just go for the Flare Blitz, hoping to take it out, as he's Sashed! Sashed Ferrothorn, I have never seen that before. So he goes for the gyro ball here and gets a crit. I really think that crit would matter because I was on I was on plus like both. So I got into my Raticate here and just go for the sucker punch. Excuse me, predicting him to go for another gyro ball, but he goes for the leech seed. So at this point I'm like, oh shit. So I just go for the U-turn. Uh knock the Ferrothorn straight out there. So now um I well I got into my Polygon 2. Um, knowing it can wall whatever he goes into. So he goes into this fucking Clefable. This Clefable just starts setting up on me with the Cosmic Power. I go for the Toxic, thinking it's going to be an unaware. But it's not. It's a Magic Guard Clefable. So this thing, this thing's just setting up on me. So right here I go into um, Floridius, just think, predicting a special attack or something. He goes for another Cosmic Power there to heal himself up. He goes for the Toxic this turn as I go for the, well, as I went for the Wish. So, this turn, I just go for the Aromatherapy just to heal my um, Floridius. So, he goes for another Cosmic Power, and this point, he's at 2.5 times defense and special defense. And I'm like, shit, oh, this thing's setting up on me. So, I go into my Raticate, seeing how much damage this, uh, seeing how much damage a facade will do. As he goes for another Cosmic Power, he's at times 3 defense and special defense now. So, at this point, I'm like, oh god. So, I go for the facade, thinking it'll do a decent amount, and it only does 22%, and that thing usually knocks Pokemon out in one hit. So, right now, I'm just like, wait, what? So, I go for another one, it does 21%, and I'm just like, oh god, this thing is just gonna wall my entire team now. So, yeah, I haven't really got any poison type tags, so I go for another facade, and it only does 17%. So at this point, I put in the chat, Magic, Magic Guard down, as I'm just like kind of screwed about everything. So I go for a Sucker Punch, think, feeling he'll go for another thing. As he goes for the Soft Boiled, healing himself up, and this, this Clefable. Oh, this Clefable though. So I go into my Porygon 2 here, seeing how, seeing what sort of attacks I can go for. See, just, just scope, scoping out what I could go for, which do a decent amount. And like, nothing is. So, I just go for the recovery here, keeping his Polygon 2 around for as long as possible. As he goes for the Toxic and gets the Toxic off. So, this next turn now, I just, um, I switch out and go into my Floridius, hoping to get the Aromatherapy off and just healing up my, um, Polygon 2, because I know I might need that thing later in the battle, if I can even get rid of this Clefable. So, I go for the Wish here, and he goes for the Toxic. So, this next turn, I'm just like, uh, yeah, what am I going to do here? So, I just go straight for the Aromatherapy now. So this this isn't going too well. He goes for the stored power as I get my wish coming true. Um, yeah. So I just bring my flow just back and just go into Starmie, thinking the amount of switching I'm doing, I might as well get a rapid spin off and get rid of these rocks. So this first turn, I just go for the rapid spin and it does one percent. And this is just like knowing this thing is just going to beat my whole team. So this Clefable though, this Clefable. So I just, I, I switch out here thinking, oh, I could keep this thing around. It can deal with his Heatran later and his Flygon possibly. So I keep, I try to keep it around. So I switch out to my Flow just and just go for the Wish. Uh, yeah, and he goes for another Stored Power. So hopefully here I'm thinking he'll go for a Toxic or something. So I switch out and I go into my Starmie. Hoping, just getting the Wish off so it can heal himself right back up. But he goes for another Stored Power and takes my Starmie straight out. So at this point I'm 3, he's 5-3 up and... I'm kind of like, shit. So I go for a rock tube hoping it do a decent amount. It does five percent. Five percent. So I just go for a I just go for a bullet seed now. Stab bullet seed hoping to do a decent amount, because I can't spoil this thing, but I don't think I can spoil this thing. So I hit three times and it does like barely anything. As he goes for another stored power and yeah. So at this point he's five two and I'm looking like I'm gonna hit five oh and I'm like I'm just like shit. I'm gonna get five oh in my first week of Pika. This cannot be good. So, he goes for a Toxic on my Porygon too. Um, yeah. 
and this isn't going well. So I just go for a try attack, just hoping to get damage off on this Clefable. Just hoping to get any sort of damage off. So right now I'm just getting hurt by the toxic damage. So I switch out and just go straight for the uh, straight into Florigus. As he goes for another stored power, which I live. And so I heal up with the leftovers and I think, um, what am I going to do here? So I go for the protect, hoping to get a little bit more leftovers um, recovery back. As he goes for another stored power now. So this this is this is going bad. This isn't going well for my team now. So he goes for a, I go for a wish. As he goes for another stored power and I live with 2%. So I know this next turn I can go for the Protect and get my um, thing up. But he switches out here into his Aegis Slash. So I'm like, oh god. This Aegis Slash comes in out of nowhere. And this thing could probably just deal some serious damage to my team. So I go for the Aromatherapy here. Hoping just to get a little bit of um, stuff up. So he goes for the Sword Stance. And it's just like, oh god. So I just switch out into my Porygon 2. As he goes for another Sword Stance. And I'm thinking here, I could hit the Foul Play now. I could hit the foul play and take this Aegis Slash straight out. So I predict him to go for like a sh Oh no. So I was thinking he might go for a Shadow Sneak predicting the switch, which he doesn't know. So he, get, he has a weakness policy and he goes straight for the Iron Head. So at this point, I'm 5 1 down and I've just got my Florages left that only knows Moonblast. And I'm like, hmm, I could just stall. So these next few turns are just stalling between us. He goes for the King Shield, I go for the Protect. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But um, yeah, this. Yeah, this Pika, this hasn't kicked off as well as I wanted it to. Because, yeah, I really wanted to do well in Pika. And now I'm just looking like I'm just going to get swept by everyone. Because I'm not very good at competitive battling. So, yeah, so these Portland Timbers are just completely tearing me apart here. So, Poke Trainer Riles is going for Protect. And I'm just like, oh, Jesus. He got, I go for a Protect. And it's just, it's just back and forth here. And he goes for another King Shield. And it's just like, I go for a Moonblast. And I think... There's no point stalling it out. I'm gonna die eventually. So I just go for a Moonblast hoping to kill, and I don't. He lives with five, and he hits me with the Iron Head, and just takes me straight out there. So Flora just faints, and yeah, Poker Trainer Rao wins the battle. So that crit, oh, that crit was so close. I would have had a Dragon Dance up Charizard. If, oh, if I got rid of that thing, it would have met, oh, I don't know. I don't even know, but um, good battle with Poker Trainer Rao. Um, yeah, thanks. Uh, Belgian Extralizer will be in the description. I'm just, yeah, Portland Timbers. So, uh, GG, mate. Um, I lost. Yeah, I knew I would. Well, I didn't know I would. I hoped I wouldn't, but I did. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you can leave a like down below for the first week of Pika. And, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, Turtwig out.